Hi, it's Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and welcome to this video about putting these things, central heating boilers, into high fire service mode or chimney sweep mode. Anyway, first one we're going to be looking at is this Valen Ecotech Pro, so let's get on with it. Now there's loads of Ecotech Pros and Pluses. This is actually an Ecotech Pro, don't go off this badge, it's the wrong one. So this is how we put this one into high fire service mode or chimney sweep mode. Now we want the P settings, not the D settings. So we need P01, P02. So this is how we get into it. With the boiler turned off at the main isolation switch, we gently press the plus button, we turn on the boiler, you'll see the green light comes on and there's two little dashes, and you'll see it'll come up with P0, now we can take our finger off. Now that is the pump purge, which we don't need, we need P01, P02. So, we go and press the plus button till it reads P01, that's maximum fire. If we press the plus button again, it goes to P02, which is our minimum fire. If we want either one of those, we press the I to accept it. And that now will go into our minimum setting. But we've got a problem now, because if we try and press the buttons to make it go to high setting, it's not going to do that. So we press the reset button. We have to turn the boiler back off again. We have to press in the button again, turn it back on again. Wait till it comes up with the P settings, press our plus button again, press our I button, and we're now in the maximum setting. So again, if we want to come out of it, just press the reset and it'll go back to normal. It's as easy as that, or not. So if you've got the Valent Willis control panel, the first thing we need to do is press any of these two buttons till it goes blue. And then we hold these two buttons for about five seconds. Then we need to go down to the installer level and press select. Then we need to enter code 17 and press OK. Then we need to press the plus button to get into the test programs. Then again, the plus button to go down to check programs and press select. Now this will put us into our P0 settings. P00 is purge program. P01 is maximum and P02 is minimum. So whichever the one you want, you just press the select button and it'll put it into that mode for you. And then when you finish with it, just press the back button a few times and it'll take you back to the normal screen. So the boiler we've got here is the Glowworm Flexicon 24CX. Now to put this in high and low fire is a bit fiddly. So what the first thing we've got to do is press the reset button and let go and press immediately press the plus button. And you can see there's a little dot comes up here, which has now gone into high setting with the H. If we want to put it in low, we can press the minimum button and then press the mode button and it'll go in low setting. If we press the high, uh, the plus button, it'll put it back in high setting. And we press the mode button to accept it. And this will now go into high mode. Now the big problem is, if you want to put it in low mode, you have to press the reset button, put it back into its normal setting. Press the reset button, let go, and immediately as you let go, press the plus button again. Till it comes back into the high setting, go back into the minus setting till it says low, and then press the mode to accept. Fiddly, told you so. And then to come out, all we do is press the reset button, and it's back to normal. Now, here we have the Glowworm Easycom 28. Now, to put this into service mode, what we need to do is, using a screwdriver or a pen, we press in the reset button, hold in the mode button till the screen goes blank. It will now bring up P1. We now accept the P1 
and that now puts us into low mode for analyzing so you'll hear the boiler or ramp down now we're in low mode we can use the plus button to take it up to a hundred percent Now we're at 100%, you can now see it says it's in high mode and the boiler now has gone into its high setting. Once we've finished with the high setting, we could go back down to the low mode. Now it's back in low and you should hear the boiler now goes back into low mode. And to come out of the setting, we just press in the reset button And it's gone back to the normal setting. And that's how you put this Glowworm EasyCom into serious mode. So to put this boiler into high fire, press and hold the preheat and reset button. And it comes up with this kind of symbol. So, that means high rate. So our boiler's now in high rate. Tom will now show us how to put it in low rate. So press the preheat button and it then goes into SL, which is your low rate. And it's as simple as that. Now, these old logics, logic pluses, they're a nightmare to get into service mode. So first thing you need to do is Get the burner on. Now I've got preheat off, I've got hot water set to maximum, I've got central heating gone to maximum, and I'm in my hot water and central heating setting. Now, with the central heating knob, what you have to do is turn it to this mark here, so the first mark you come to, and then quickly, twice, and in the screen here, it will change from the C for central heating demand to S for your service demand. And that will put you in the low fire. And if you want to go into high fire, you do it one more turn. If you're lucky, because 99 times out of 100, it never works. So to put this Worcester into chimney sweep mode or high and low fire, you press and hold the OK button for five seconds. So you can see it's counting now and it comes up with this screen, which says chimney sweep mode should only be started by the installer. So you can see it already says yes, so we just press the OK button. So you can see the screen's telling us the fan speed would be 100% and our actual flow temperature at the moment is 46.5 degrees centigrade. Now you can see on the screen the buttons which are illuminated are this down arrow and the back arrow. And now the burner has just indicated it's come on. So if we want to turn this boiler down to minimum fire, all we need to do is press this down arrow and it will put us into 10%, which is our minimum rate. Now once we've finished doing our flue gas analysing, all we do is press this back arrow, which now says do we want to come out of the chimney sweep mode? We press OK and it just takes us back now to the normal screen. So if you have the Worcester Green Star SI Compact and you've got this display, this is how you put it into chimney sweep mode. And you can see the chimney sweep little drawing is here. So we've got the eco button and the spanner button and we press them together for five seconds. And you can see now it's got into chimney sweep mode and we've got maximum setting. And again, it takes about 30 seconds for it to get into maximum. So you should hear the boiler now start to ramp up and you can see the temperature on the flow is going up. Now, if we want to put this into low setting, all we need to do is press this arrow here on the right hand side at the bottom. And you can see we've now got into minimum setting and you can hear the boiler now 
is ramping down to minimum setting. So that's our maximum and minimum. And if we want to come out of the setting, we just press OK and it goes back to the normal screen. So that's the Worcester SI Compact. Now this is the Ariston E Combi Evo. So what we need to do with this is press and hold the reset button till test comes up on the screen. Then you can see there's a radiator there that will now go into maximum rate for central heating. So you can see the little arrows have not gone quite to the top. If I use this dial here, if I turn it just to the tap symbol, that goes in maximum hot water. And if I bring the radiator and the tap onto the screen, you can see that's gone down into minimum rate. So that's how easy it is to do the Ariston E Combi Evo and then to come out, press the reset button and it goes back to the normal settings. Now this is how you put the Ariston E Combi 1 into service mode. Press and hold the reset button till test comes up. Now we've got a radiator symbol here which means it's in maximum setting for just the central heating, which we don't want. If we press the plus button, the little tap symbol comes on, and that's now maximum rate for hot water, which we do want. And if we press the minimum button, so we've got the tap symbol and the radiator symbol, that puts us into minimum setting. To come out of the setting, we just press and hold the reset button and it's as simple as that. First of all, make sure both control knobs are turned to minimum. Within two seconds, turn the hot water control knob quarter turn twice. Numbers 304 will appear in the display. We have now accessed the service mode to be able to put this boiler in high or low fire. If we turn the central heating knob fully to maximum, 100 will appear in the display and this has now put the boiler into high fire. After we have taken our high reading, we can then use the same control knob, the central heating one, turn it now to fully minimum, 0 will appear in the screen and this has now put the boiler into low fire. It's as simple as that. Now that is the end of this video on putting boilers into chimney sweep mode or high fire and low fire or service mode. Anyway, as usual, if you've enjoyed this film, why don't you give it a thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe because it helps. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because you want YouTube to tell you when we're uploading videos. Because it's all over the place at the moment. Anyway, as usual, all I've got left to say is, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers.